Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, July 11th. This is for all signs. The timing is fluid, okay? There's no real timeline for this reading. If it feels right, then this reading is for you. If it feels wrong, then it is not. Okay, so somebody has become emotionally unavailable to a situation. We have the Page of Cups looking for more excitement. I'm ready. I'm ready for a new exciting opportunity. So it feels as though, you know, they've their their ships are finally coming in with the 3 of Wands. There's a feeling of something arriving that you have been waiting for after a period of perhaps doubting or closing yourself off. You know, and this looks like it's like looks like it's it's a it's a happy time. It's a time to celebrate. Um, somebody has decided to stop sacrificing themselves. Okay, I'm no longer going to sacrifice myself for something that is going to would have been a a much bigger disaster. So I feel like somebody has is avoiding this a disaster they're avoiding a breakdown by taking action you know by seeing things differently by standing up for themselves by allowing themselves to step out walk away from a dead end situation you know i've i've been involved in this dead end situation i'm just going to walk away now i no longer need to prove myself to you because i just don't i don't need to you know, I, I've worked hard on on recovering. I've been through a period of recovery. I'm feeling good again, and I no longer need to to feed my my ego to get the respect from you that you think that you deserve. Okay, I don't I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm just I'm gonna walk away. Um, I feel as though. Somebody has been involved in a situation that has left them very, very unhappy. They were involved in an unhappy relationship to the point where, you know, they, they gave every amount of effort that they possibly could to, to work on it, to wait, to hang around and wait for this to come back together. Okay, I, I've worked, I've, I've done everything that I possibly can do to make this relationship work. And now I realize that it's time for me to walk away because it's a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. So this is the death of an idea where from finally somebody decides, you know what, it's time. It's time for me to recuperate. It's time for me to see this as it really is. So I feel like today is a day of realizing that your future looks bright. You know, there's no need for me to stay closed off emotionally and allow my heart to be lonely when there's an opportunity for a new beginning if I allow it. So I feel like somebody decides to put themselves out there. They must finally may decide to date or or just celebrate their independence. It's like a newfound passion, a newfound spark has been lit after a stagnant time. Um, this is this is goes right in line with the last few readings I have done and other readers because I, I do watch other readers. I feel as though 
Well, I see that there is a new beginning starting for somebody that's being offered from above. A new exciting opportunity after after being stuck in a relationship that wasn't fulfilling. It just wasn't fulfilling at all. So I feel as though there's a there's a a, a, a period or a new period of of happiness that is is permeating within you you know it's like oh my gosh I do have a new opportunity I can be happy again and I'm excited about my future okay I'm really excited about my future I see that the future looks really bright I know that there's other fish in the sea so I feel as though somebody is has done a lot of inner work they have become enlightened through this period of being stuck being in limbo waiting for for some relationship to come back around but I feel like now I, I understand that this didn't work out for a reason. And I'm walking away. I'm truly walking away. I'm not looking back. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to do what I need to do for me. I'm not going to hang on. It's time for me to recuperate from this dead end. I've been involved in a dead end situation that didn't give me the love that I was looking for. There was no messages of love. There was no love coming in. So now I'm going to accept this new opportunity. I'm going to accept this new opportunity that is exciting and fertile, that promises growth, okay? Because I've grown. I'm not the same person, and I'm ready to be happy again. So I feel as though somebody accepts a new opportunity to, to go on a new adventure. You know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this new adventure, and I'm ready to be happy. So there's happiness, this new adventure, this could be a new partner, a new sexual partner, a anything. It could be anything that it's a new exciting opportunity being presented to you from above that promises growth. Um, it's very passionate and it's something that you have been probably avoiding, ignoring, not accepting, waiting for something to to fix, to get better. When, in fact, nothing was happening there, nothing was happening, you hung around for too long. That's what it looks like. Somebody hung around for way too long, hoping for something to really not be false. But now, I think that someone has come to the realization, they've, they've been enlightened to the point where, you know what? It's time for me to walk away. Just walk away for good. Now, this could even have to do with a job. It could have to do with a job that was less than fulfilling. You know, somebody's put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, done everything that they can do to get it right, and, and received nothing back in return. No fulfillment. And now they realize that this, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. I can't, I can't stay here anymore. It's time for me to walk away. Now, this could be a relationship. could have even been a third-party situation. Okay, it could have been. Somebody decides to walk away from a situation after putting in a lot of effort, whether it's, you know, a love relationship that nobody communicated, somebody closed themselves off, you know, and they didn't communicate, they didn't want the new beginning, so, you know, that could be the case. This could be a third-party relationship. Somebody decides, you know what, I don't want to be in that anymore. That's, that's a disaster. This could be a job situation. Somebody is saying, you know what? This is a dead end. I'm walking away. Dead end. I'm walking away. Somebody is regaining control, taking control. Here we have the emperor. This is somebody who is deciding to dominate the situation. It's time for me to be responsible and take control of my future. I need to take control of my future as I'm not receiving any emotional support wherever you are at. There's no, there's no emotional contentment. So I have to take control. Somebody has gained wisdom, a lot of wisdom, 
through enlightenment. You know, they've they've been through a period of hanging around, uh, thinking about it, waiting. You know, this period of solitude. They've gained enough wisdom to see, you know, this isn't where I want to be in three years. You know, we, now we have the Knight of Cups reversed here. Somebody is walking away from some sort of relationship that had no promise. A false promise. There was no follow through. There was no emotional truth to it. No no love to it. It's like there was, this wasn't true. I feel as though there was an opportunity that somebody involved themselves in where at one time it came in and it, it, and it was so good that they took it and then soon after it started to crumble, it started to fall apart. And now they realize the truth that this was really too good to be true. They're walking away from this relationship. Whether it's love, work, third party situation, whatever it is, something is 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 going bye bye. <laughs> it's time. It's time for me to find my wish fulfillment, my happiness, my abundance. I have everything I need to be happy. I know that I do. I feel like somebody is taking some pretty swift action to speak their truth, to accept the truth. This is the page of swords. Somebody is speaking. Somebody somebody had knows they've been watching. Something fall apart. Now, I could also see here that somebody, there could be somebody that has been watching you. Somebody has been watching you hold on to a relationship that is going nowhere. And they've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to make you an offer. So... you may receive a message or communication from somebody that wants to offer you happiness, that wants to offer you wish fulfillment. Could be somebody you work with. Could be somebody that was a friend or a friend of a friend. Could be somebody that you've dated before or you met on a dating site. I feel like there is somebody that has been watching that there's an opportunity for a new start with them, a new beginning. And this is, this is not an ex. This is not an ex. This is somebody new that has been waiting for you. They've been watching, watching in the wings, maybe on your social media, whatever. Somebody has been watching and they see that you have been probably hurting, okay, over a relationship. 
or they've been waiting for you to to walk away so that they could make the offer. Because this could be somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet. But be careful, it could be it could be too good to be true. Just keep that in mind. Now, we have all all the signs, so it really doesn't matter what the sign is. But there's an opportunity for happiness here after somebody closes a door to a relationship that didn't work out, that was false. So, yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity that you may not even expect. It's, it's pretty unexpected. That's what I think. And, and the other person, they probably waited because they thought you wouldn't accept it. Because you were still hurting over the last one. So that's what it looks like. They probably figured they didn't dare to they didn't dare to make any offer because they wanted you to be ready. They wanted you to be happy again. Yeah. That's that's probably the case. I mean, somebody has been waiting for the opportune time to make an offer. They wanted you to be ready to accept it. Interesting. And it could happen very suddenly. I think there could be a sudden uh, a sudden change where somebody decides, okay, the time is now. There's been a lot of indecisiveness. There's been a lot of fear of the unknown. Somebody's been going back and forth and they've been restricted. And I think they were, they were restricted because... They felt like you hadn't had the time to recuperate from this whatever it is that didn't work out. So that's where the restrictions lie. I feel like there could be a sudden arrival of a message from somebody that sweeps you off your feet. This person's been watching it in the wings for a while. That's what it looks like to me. They've probably wanted this new passionate beginning with you, but they needed you to be ready. And it feels like now they may be coming in to offer wish fulfillment. And I need to, I need to really stress that this is not your ex. Some of you are determined to hold on and fight for a relationship that didn't work out. And that's ego. That's because of rejection. There's a new opportunity here, a new partner, new with capital N, capital E, capital W. Opportunity in which somebody has been waiting to make that offer. They see that you were wounded, they see that you were hurt, and they were waiting for the perfect time. So for those of you that have let go of a relationship, whether whatever it is, there's a new opportunity that promises growth, excitement, expansion, and adventure, and fertility. With somebody that has been watching you and waiting for the right time. And so that it could suddenly be the right time. Somebody has decided to take back control, to take control, to be, take the lead. Okay, that emperor is the lead. Somebody has decided to take the lead in regards to where they... They see themselves in the future to offer love. Somebody has decided to take the lead to offer love.
trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternate path. Like I said, an alternate path. It's not, it's not holding on to this old relationship that was a disaster. It was false. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternate, alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on a boundless opportunities and so much more. You guys have been missing out. Somebody has been missing out on a new fresh start by holding on to something that is was a dead end. And I feel like now somebody has decided to take the lead, to take back control, to bring structure, to bring organization, to be the boss of their own lives and walk away truthfully from a, from a deceptive situation. I don't need to be here anymore. They make that decision and a new opportunity comes in. Trust. So I guess that's what I have for today. Uh, talk to you later.